Today, the nation pauses to remember the 9-11 terror attacks. It's been 19 years since the attacks, and this year's remembrance ceremonies looked a little different because of the coronavirus pandemic. A disagreement over health precautions led to two separate remembrances in Lower Manhattan. CBS 4's Nancy Chen has the story. The September 11th ceremony at the 9-11 Memorial in Lower Manhattan included moments of silence, but this year it did not include the traditional live reading of the victims' names because of coronavirus concerns. Instead, it was a recording of the names. And my brother. Some victims' family members who were upset by that decision set up their own ceremony nearby. We knew that it was of the utmost importance that we read aloud the names of all 2,977 souls who perished 19 years ago today. 9-11 observances are also different this year at the Pentagon, where military leaders conducted the ceremony without victims' families in attendance. You never forget those who were murdered by the terrorists. And at the Flight 93 Memorial near Shanksville, Pennsylvania, the usual 90-minute ceremony was abbreviated. Here in New York, the fire commissioner strongly recommended firefighters skip 9-11 observances during the pandemic. The department lost 343 members that day. Firefighter Leonard Regoglia Sr., a member of Engine 54, was one of them. His two sons, Leonard Jr. and Anthony, are honoring him by following in his footsteps. I have the honor and privilege of working in the same firehouse that he worked in, the same company. So it really means a lot to me. I always looked up to my dad and what he did. And then I think as I matured and as the time went on, uh, year after year, it became more and more of something I wanted to do. They say they think their father would be proud. Nancy Chen, CBS News, New York. At the Tunnel to Tower ceremony today, the podiums had to be wiped down between each reader.